Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm drawing one of my viewers' original characters and reviewing the Veek VK1200 pen display. So this video is going to be different than my usual I Draw Your OC videos. Think of it as an I Draw Your OC mini. Basically, I needed something to draw for this tablet review, and since there are so many OC submissions, I thought I'd draw one of those. But before we take a look at the OC, let's take a look at the tablet. Also, I apologize if my voice is a little raspy. My throat's really dry and I keep drinking water to make it not dry. But yeah, <laughs> my voice feels a little weird today. So this is the Veek VK1200. It does have a screen, so you're able to draw on the screen. In the box, you get many things like a glove. You also get a cleaning cloth and the cables to plug the tablet to your computer. When I review tablets like these, a lot of people ask if they need a computer, and yes they do. They need to be plugged into a laptop or a computer. Here we have the quick start guide and a little card telling us where we can get the drivers. Also, they give you a ton of nibs, my goodness. <laughs> they are very generous with the pen nibs, and there are more pen nibs hiding with the pen stand. The stand comes in two pieces that you can put together. And on the bottom of the stand, there is a nib remover to help take the nib out of the pen. Speaking of the pen, you get two of them for some reason. I'm not sure why you get two pens, but it is nice to have an extra one. The VK1200 drawing monitor provides the battery-free pen with 8,192 levels of pen pressure, and it supports up to 60 degrees of tilt function. The pen has a nice rubber grip and feels really comfortable to hold. And last but not least, we have the tablet. The work area is 11.6 inches and it has an anti-glare film applied to it. The screen is fully laminated so there is no gap in between the glass and the screen. This tablet is on the smaller side and is definitely portable. Here it is next to my 10.2 iPad as a size comparison. On the left we have 6 customizable express keys and on the right we have the spots for the cords to plug in. We also have the power button and the display brightness button. The tablet has an all metal body so it feels kind of fancy and the back has grips so it doesn't slide around. I do think it'd be nice if the tablet came with some kind of stand. For this review I'll be using a stand I got from a previous tablet. So next was setting up the tablet which went smoothly. I do want to mention that the tablet can use the computer as its power source in most cases, but in some cases it does need to be plugged into a wall outlet. They do not give you an adapter if it does need to be plugged into a wall. They say you can use a standard phone charger, but I think it would be nice if they gave you an adapter. Thankfully my laptop is able to power the tablet, it does seem to drain the battery a little bit, uh, so I keep my laptop plugged in while using the tablet. So I do have more to say about the tablet, but first let's take a look at the character I will be drawing. So this character was created by Fluffy Ramen. The character's name is Hisao. I hope I'm saying it right, I'm sorry if I'm not. And he is around 17 years old. Hisao is flirty and gets flustered or surprised when the person he's trying to flirt with actually flirts back. <laughs> so let's start drawing Hisao. So this illustration isn't going to be very complicated. It's just a simple three quarter bust drawing. Like I mentioned, this is kind of a I draw your OC mini and the purpose of this drawing is just to test out the tablet and see how it performs. I want to say that Hisao is very cute and since he gets flustered, I wanted to draw him blushing since it's not an expression I get to draw very often for finished illustrations. To pick which character I was going to draw for this video, I actually just went with the first OC I found in my email. There were a ton of gacha character submissions because I had just posted a gacha character video at the time. And so I just went through my emails until I found an OC submission and that's how I got this character. I didn't pick a gacha character because like I said, I had just posted a gacha character video. So anyways, back to the tablet. When I was setting up the tablet, I did have to recalibrate the monitor so that the mouse cursor would be in the correct spot in relation to the pen. When I first tried to do this, the tablet wouldn't let me recalibrate it unless I had it set to extended displays. Also, recalibrating the monitor did help a lot with the mouse cursor being in the correct spot. I did notice that around the edges of the tablet, the cursor does like to move away from the pen, and it can be kind of hard to click on what you want if it's around the edges. 
Like there were multiple times I clicked on the wrong thing because the cursor was in a slightly different spot than my mouse. This is a common thing for tablets to do. The current tablet I use does the same thing where around the edges the pen cursor will misalign a little bit. However, because the VK1200 is smaller, any variation in relation between the pen and the cursor is kind of more prominent than when working on larger displays. I'll talk a little about the illustration I'm working on. So in a recent video, I tried out digital painting and it was a lot of fun and many of you want to see me use it more. I also want to use it more. Before this illustration, I decided to use more of my normal work and coloring process. Since I was testing out this tablet, I wanted to be able to focus on the tablet and how it felt and not get wrapped up in the creation process too much. However, I did try to incorporate some new things that I did learn in the digital painting video. Especially for the hair, for this illustration I tried to make it more detailed and close to the hair shading style I used in the digital painting video. I started by applying the shadows and placed those where I wanted them. I then went around and added where I wanted the strands of hair to get some more light. I made these really strong at first and then I toned it down. And then lastly, I went in with my stronger highlights to make the hair look really shiny. Later on, I do add some more highlights and I also add some stray hairs. I feel like this gave the hair a really neat look. So this tablet is nice to work on. At first I thought working on this small of a tablet would be kind of troublesome, but it wasn't really. I was able to adjust to it pretty quickly and it wasn't too different than drawing on something like my iPad when it came to the size I was working at. The pressure sensitivity works very well and responds nicely. Also, the express keys are very easy to customize and worked just fine for me. They didn't give me any issues, thankfully. I also like how the tablet doesn't take up very much space. I don't have a ton of desk space in my room. Uh, so the fact that this tablet is so tiny is kind of nice. It doesn't take up my entire desk. <laughs> it just takes up a little portion of it. The film applied to the screen is also really nice. It's really easy for my hand to slide around and it has a slight texture to it. So it feels really nice to work on. The Vic VK1200 is $249.99 on Amazon. I think this is a really reasonable price for the tablet. There are some other tablets with a screen similar to this one for the same price. However, the Vic is much smaller and it doesn't have a bunch of space around the screen. So that makes it so the tablet is much more portable. If you are looking for something less bulky, you might want to consider this tablet. So how do I rate my experience with the VK1200? I give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. The reason I'm not giving it a full 5 stars is because it does not come with a stand or a power adapter. Also, the pen misalignment around the edges is pretty noticeable. However, it is a nice little tablet and it does get the job done. If a tablet being small and not bulky is important to you, you may enjoy this tablet. So that is all I have to say about the Vic VK1200 and here is my finished piece of Hisao. Thank you so much Fluffy Ramen for submitting your character. He was a lot of fun to draw. So thank you all so much for watching this bonus video and I'll see you all on Saturday for my usual weekly video. Bye!